Warning, the Curious Native Podcast contains mature topics and themes that are intended for an older youth and adult audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, welcome to the Curious Native Podcast. I'm your host, Sunas Makathan, and in today's episode, we will be talking about the Indian Removal Act of 1830, why it was enacted, and how it affected Native people. So, if you're interested in that, please keep on listening. Well, to begin, what is the Indian Removal Act? The Indian Removal Act was signed into law by President Andrew Jackson on May 28, 1830. The law author- authorized the forced removal of Native American tribes who lived east of the Mississippi River. The act was controversial from uh, the very beginning, and it was met with opposition from many Americans, including members of Congress, religious leaders, and human rights activists, despite the opposition. The act was implemented and it led to the forced removal of thousands of Native Americans from their ancestral lands. The Indian Removal Act was a culmination of years of tension between Native American tribes and the United States government. Obviously, I mean, we're being genocided on an extreme level, so of course there was going to be tensions there. And I don't even know if tensions would be the right word to use, so apologies if that isn't, you know... Maybe there was a better word I could have used. <clears throat> the government had been attempting to remove Native Americans from their lands for years, but the Indian Removal Act was the first law that, author- that authorized the forced removal of entire tribes. I apologize. I keep wanting to say authorized, but it's authorized. The act was based on the belief that Native Americans were a hindrance to westward expansion and that they would better off living in the Western territories. The forced removal of Native Americans was a traumatic event in, uh, you know, the indigenous history of, you know, North America, especially here in the United States, specifically. Um, The tribes were forced to leave their homes and travel hundreds of miles to unfamiliar territory. Many died from disease, starvation, and exposure along the way. You know, the forced removal also had a profound impact on Native American Uh, Native American cultures and societies and, you know, different communities. Many tribes lost their ancestral lands and they were forced to adopt, uh, adopt and adapt to a new way of life in the Western territories. In conclusion, the Indian Removal Act was a dark chapter in Native American history. It was a law that authorized the forced removal of Native American tribes from their ancestral lands, and it led to the deaths of thousands of Native Americans. The act was based on the belief that Natives were a hindrance to Western expansion, like like mentioned earlier, and it was met with opposition from many Americans. Despite the opposition, the act was implemented, and it had a profound impact on Native American cultures, communities, and societies, like mentioned. Who was specifically affected? Like which what pe- which peoples were mostly affected? Mostly, and I say I say that very lightly because there were many tribes, like I'm going to mention in a minute, who were affected by this. But who was affected by the Indian Removal Act? The first tribes to be affected by the Indian Removal Act were the Cherokee, the Creek, the Chickasaw, and the Chuck uh, the Choctaw uh, nations. And tribes, the Cherokee uh, were one of the largest and most influential tribes in the southeastern United States. They had their own written language, a system of government, and a thriving agricultural economy. Despite their efforts to assimilate into American culture, the Cherokee were targeted by the Indian Removal Act. In 1838, thousands of Cherokee were forced to leave their homes and travel hundreds of miles to Indian Territory in what is now um, Oklahoma. Let's see. My notes are kind of like all over the place and I have this kind of formatted now. So if you could, I hope you guys can tell that, you know, I'm, there's, there's a lot more, uh, there's more quality control in the episodes now. The journey became known as the Trail of Tears and it resulted in the deaths of thousands of Cherokee, which I, I plan on doing a future episode. It's just, you know, that's, these take time. This was a few months planned behind, you know, and I don't, this was, I I don't even, I'm not even mentioning every piece of information that I got. You know, there were stories from this time that were passed down, but at the same time, I don't know if those stories are for me to tell. So maybe, 
maybe I'll have a Cherokee person on the Tales of Tra- uh, Tales of Trails of Tears episode. I apologize. And, you know, have them, you know, we could talk about that. But until that, you know, this is what we're talking about. The Chickasaw were another tribe that was affected by the Indian Removal Act. Like the Cherokee, they had their own system of government and a thriving economy. The Chickasaw were also forced to leave their homes and travel to Indian territory. Also, I apologize if I'm not saying it right. I'm not, you know, I'm a little West Coast native boy and I'm just trying my hardest. Many Chickasaw died during the journey, and those who, sur- who, those who survived were forced to adapt to a new way of life in the Western Territories. The Choctaw were one of the first tribes to be targeted by the Indian Removal Act in 1831. The Choctaw were forced to sign a treaty that ceded their lands to the United States government. The treaty also authorized the forced removal of Choctaw to Indian Territory. The journey was difficult, and many Choctaw died from the disease, starvation, and exposure to the elements. The Creek was another tribe that was targeted by the Indian Removal Act. In 1832, the Creek War Force signed a treaty that ceded their lands to the United States government as well. The treaty also authorized forced removal of the Creek to Indian Territory. The journey, like I mentioned earlier, like I mentioned earlier was difficult and many Creek died from disease, starvation, and exposure to the elements. How long did the Indian Removal Act last and how many, how many natives died due to this act? The Indian Removal Act was signed into law by President Andrew Jackson in 1830 and lasted until the forced relocation of the Cherokee Nation in 1838. The act authorized the forced removal of Native American tribes from their ancestral lands in the southeastern United States to Indian Territory in Oklahoma. The Indian Removal Act was a controversial and divisive law and was met with resistance from Native American tribes and their allies. The forced relocation of Native American tribes led to the loss of their traditional ways of life, their cultures, and their connections to their ancestral lands. The the relocation was also accompanied by violence, disease, and starvation, uh, starvation, which resulted in the deaths of thousands of Native Americans. The Trail of Tears, which saw the forced relocation of over 16,000 Cherokee people from their homes in Georgia to Indian Territory, Territory, resulted in the deaths of an estimated 4,000 Cherokee people due to disease, starvation, and exposure. The forced relocation of Native American tribes was a traumatic and devastating experience that had a profound impact on Native American communities. The loss of their ancestral lands and traditional ways of life led to a loss of cultural identity and a sense of belonging. Many Native American communities are still struggling to recover from the devastating impact of the Indian Removal Act today. The Indian Removal Act was also accompanied by the ongoing injustice, injustices and discriminatory policies towards Natives. Many Native, many Native tribes were forced to sign treaties with the United States government that were unfair and exploitative, and many of these treaties were later broken by the government. Native Americans were also denied the right to vote and were subjugated to discriminatory policies and practices like mentioned. Today, Native American communities are still fighting for their rights and for justice in the face of historical and ongoing injustices. Many Native American tribes are working to reclaim their ancestral lands and to preserve their culture and traditions. The legacy of the Indian Removal Act is a painful reminder of the ongoing struggle for justice and equality in the United States. In conclusion, the Indian Removal Act lasted from 1830 to 1838 and resulted in the forced relocation of thousands of Native Americans from their ancestral lands to Indian Territory. The the relocation was accompanied by violence, disease, starvation, and exposure to the elements, which resulted in the deaths of thousands of Native Americans, till the Trail of Tears, which saw the forced relocation of over 16,000 Cherokee people from their homes in Georgia to Indian Territory, resulted in the deaths of of an estimated 4,000 Cherokee people due to disease, starvation, and exposure to the elements. The Trail of Tears refers to the forced displacement of what white American colonizers called the Five Civilized Tribes. Over 20 years between 1830 and 1850, somewhere around 60,000 to 100,000 Native Americans were forced from their homes into land the new government had decided would be Indian Territory. During their removal, countless died from exposure, disease, and starvation. Their unnecessary deaths are now seen as a near-genocidal event, and the route they walked and died upon is forevermore known 
as the Trail of Tears. The forced relocation of these native tribes was traumatic and devastating and devastating and was a devastating experience that had a profound impact on these communities that, you know, we see today. Speaking of today, how does this act affect natives today? The Injury Removal Act of 1830, the law that was author authorized to, to force I'm sorry. The Indian Removal Act of 1830 was the, was a law that, author, that authorized the, reforce, the forced removal of Native American tribes from their ancestral lands. The act had a devastating impact on Native American communities, and it's still being felt today. The forced removal of Native Americans from their lands to the loss of their traditional ways of life, their culture, and their connections to their ancestral lands. One of the ways that the Indian Removal Act still affects Native Americans today is through the loss of their land. Many Native American tribes were forced to cede their lands to the United States government, and this has had a lasting impact on their ability to maintain traditional ways of life. The loss of land has also impacted their ability to maintain their cultural practices and traditions. Another way that the Indian Removal Act still affects Native Americans today is through the loss of their culture. The forced removal of Native Americans from their ancestral lands meant that they were cut off from their traditional ways of life. This has led to the loss of cultural practices, languages, and traditions. Many Native American communities are still struggling to maintain their culture and language in the face of assimilation today. The Indian Removal Act also had a significant impact on Native Americans' health and well-being. The forced removal of, the Native, of Native Americans from their ancestral lands led to the loss of their traditional food sources and access to health care. This has led to higher rates of chronic disease such as diabetes, heart disease, and obesity amongst Native American communities today. The Indian Removal Act has also had a lasting impact on Native American sovereignty. The forced removal of Native Americans from their ancestral lands meant that they lost their ability to govern themselves and make decisions about their communities. Today, Native American tribes are still fighting for their sovereignty and their right to govern themselves. Finally, the Indian Removal Act has had a lasting impact on the relationship between Native Americans and the United States government. Duh. The forced, removal native, the forced removal of Native Americans from their ancestral lands was a clear violation of their human rights, and it has led to a legacy of mistrust between Native American communities and the United States government. Today, many Native American communities are still fighting for their rights and for justice in the face of historical and ongoing injustices. I cannot, you know, I just, to sum this up, I, to the people, to all the Natives who are affected by the Indian Removal Act, I can only imagine, you know, the pain and suffering that you and your ancestors, you know, have endured as a result of the Indian Removal Act. Um, the forced relocation of Native American tribes was an injustice that had a lasting impact on your cultures and communities. And um, I want you to know that I stand with you in the in your fight for justice, equality, and you know, the right to reclaim your ancestral lands. Your resilience and strength in the face of um, <clears throat> historical and ongoing injustices, it's an inspiration to us all, especially, you know, Native Americans and Native people just in North America, period. Like, let's drop the American for, just drop it, we're Natives, you know? And I am committed to supporting you in any way that I can. With that being said, if you liked today's episode and would like more like this, please go ahead and subscribe. Like, share, and comment to let me know that you're enjoying all the hard work and research that goes into these episodes. And, you know, if you like me and what I have to say, please feel free to follow my main Twitter page at Huskisman And please follow the podcast official Twitter page at TCN Pod. Everything will be linked, including all my sources that I use and, uh, in this episode. And um, with that being said, I'm Huskisman Aitian, a.k.a. Hunasmak Aitian. AKA Nate, and this has been the Curious Native Podcast.